and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. I'm frantically filming before the light just disappears and um, <clears throat> because when I film in the dark um, my lights are just crap. I've watched back some videos that I've put, I can't even believe I uploaded them um, where, where it's not natural daylight and it is just shocking. So frantically, <laughs> frantically rushing to get this done. Um, it's a book haul today guys. Book haul! Woohoo! Um, these are some books that I've been kindly sent by the publishers. Just one that I've bought here. All the rest have been very, very kindly sent to me by the publishers. Um, very exciting, all of them all of them indeed um, and yeah let's just let's just crack right on with it so I'll start with this lovely set of books um, that have been sent to me um, that are Moomin books now I showed a Moomin book earlier this month it's behind there also I've moved this chair I took ages moving this chair because sometimes this hello thing says hell like it says now it's been ages moving the chair and I was like oh lovely and then when I sat in the chair this was facing the other way, so I was like, oh, I'll just move it back. And then I angled it, so it still says hell. <laughs> Took me ages as well. So, was, um, yeah, anyway, these four lovely Moomin books have been sent to me. Um, this, the first ever contact I've really had with Moomins was earlier this month when um, Waterstone sent me a book, um, The Invisible Child and the Fir Tree, which is a beautiful book. Um, <coughs> With all the proceeds going to Oxfam for chill, for women and girls projects, which is amazing. And then off the back of that, um, I also got asked if I would like to be sent the new re-release, uh, the new releases of. Uh, I think these are re-releases of um, Moomin titles. They look beautiful together, and these are the ones I've got. So, Comet in Moomin Land, Finn Family Moomin, Moomin Troll, Finn Family Moomin Troll. The Memoirs of Moomin Papa and Moomin Midwinter, which is obviously my favourite because it's Christmas. And they just look beautiful. And I've got this really, really nice bookmark that's been sent with them as well. But there, lovely stuff. Very, very nice and wonderful. And thanks so much for sending them to me. So, yeah, hopefully get round to Moomin Winter over Christmas because um, it's very, very cute. Um, then more that I've got here. Ooh, got a DVD here for certain women. So, also... We'll call it, it's a book called Plus One DVD. Um, somebody got in touch, they got in touch with me um, and asked if I would like to um, have a, I think it might be a Blu-ray, it is a Blu-ray, a Blu-ray um, of this uh, Certain Women, um, which is a set of short stories which has been adapted for the screen. It's got really good cast, Laura Dern, Kristen Stewart, Michelle Williams and Lily Gladstone. Um, I will get round to watching that at some point. Sorry, it's really glary but yeah certain women um i have been i bought myself when i went to margate earlier this month with david and two friends that we had visiting dolores and darren um we went to margate and they have a um second hand bookshop there that is in an old bank which has got really really it looks really cool it's like outside just looks like a bank and then inside it's got like all the sort of like banky windows and things like that and there's like an upstairs bit and while i was in there i noticed um a kind of intimacy by jen ashworth so i read um fell last month really really enjoyed it and um, knew that I wanted to get to some more Jen Ashworth saw this in there thought I will have it and it was a mere £1.75 um, it's about a woman called Annie who is morbidly obese um, and she talks so this is her perspective on her life I think really and um, there we go she's she's learning from past mistakes and achieve, trying to achieve a certain kind of intimacy with the boy next door so yeah looking forward to that and uh, hope it's as good as fell because I really really enjoyed fell um, I was also sent uh, the Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls, which has recently been made into a film which stars Woody Harrelson. Let me identify some of these people. Brie Larson and Naomi Watts. Really love Brie Larson so much. Um, and this is a memoir, um, which is very, very exciting. A, <laughs> which is very, very exciting. About a family... Um, here we go. I'll read it to you. I shouldn't really read it to you. And I'm going to make an... I'm going to anticipate, because Simon said this in one of his videos recently, that like, just getting these books and being like, oh, blah, 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 blah. It's not so fun for everyone, is it? So I will anticipate from now on, I'm just about to read this out, but from now on, I won't be reading from the back of pages of stuff. So it says here, um, it's a revelatory look into a family at once deeply dysfunctional and unique vibrant. When sober, Jeanette's brilliant and charismatic father captures his children's imagination, teaching them physics, geology and how to embrace life fearlessly. But when he drank, he was dishonest and destructive. Her mother was a free spirit who abhorred the idea of domesticity and didn't want the responsibility of raising a family. The Walls children learned to take care of themselves. They fed, clothed and protected one another and eventually found their way to New York. Their parents followed them, choosing to be homeless even as their children prospered. Hmm, so very interesting. And then also I have, they, they, she also sent me um, 
male Malloy, both ways is the only way I want it. Um, which I don't know much about, it's published by Canongate. It says, caught between opposing forces, fidelity and desire, impulse and security, innocence and experience, these unforgettable characters have reached a fork in the road. But what kind of fool wants it only one way? Funny, sly and sparkling with energy. Both ways is the only way I want it, confirms, I think it's male. Male Malloy is an enthralling storyteller. So very exciting. And then these last four were sent to me um, by Pam McMillan, which is very exciting. The first two I'm very excited about. Um, I have been sent The Little Bullet Book, um, which is published by Bluebird. It is beautiful. Beautiful. and it's all about bullet journaling so as you can see here oh god that light um there's bullet that so every month has got one of those um and it's just laid out with like so every month starts with that and then it's also got a task tracker um, where you can fill things in and then just as you go through the year it has certain challenges and bits about finance and beliefs and things like that I've been watching quite a few bullet journal um, Instagram accounts and things like that and I feel like next year I'm going to really get into bullet journaling. Bullet journaling? Is there another way people say it? Um, and I just feel like it's a really nice way to be organised. And also, I like coloured pens. <laughs> so, would there be a better place? And then just, I, I'd ask for that to be sent to me. And then just as a little bonus book, as it says on this little post-it note here, a little bonus book, How to Bullet Plan, A Practical Guide by Rachel Wilkerson Miller. Um, and this has just got all about um, the tip, tips for bullet journaling. So really, I'm absolutely set up for it. But if anyone's got any um, accounts, um, bullet journaling accounts that they follow on Twitter or Instagram or even on YouTube, would there be that sort of thing? Or people that do that sort of thing, then do let me know because I would be very, very interested. Um, and then I was also sent this, which I am very excited about. It is um, a, a Swedish crime thriller, The Darkest Day by Hakan Nessa. I think, oh god, some sort of big noise going on outside. Ha or oh, Harkin Nessa. Um, it says here, it's set in December, so I feel like, oh, I could read that. Christmas. No, it's not Christmas. It's December in the quiet Swedish town of Kimlinge, and the Hermansen family are gathering to celebrate Carl, Father Carl Eric and eldest daughter Ebba's joint landmark birthday. But beneath the guise of happy festivities, tensions are running high and it's not long before the night takes a dark and unexpected turn. Before the weekend is over, two members of the Hermansen family are missing and it's up to Inspector Barbarotti, a detective who spends as much of his time debating the existence of God as he does solving cases, to determine exactly what went on and unravel a web of sinister family crimes committed on the darkest day. So yeah, it's really heavy. Um, and then the last one I've been sent is absolutely beautiful. This would make a really, really lovely Christmas present, actually. So it's What We See in the Stars by Kelsey Osaid. Um, this is in silver, and it's got sort of like silver... I mean, I was moaning about that light glaring earlier, but that's, that's working for me now. Um, throughout this book, and it is beautiful, it's got lots and lots of different um, star formations. Is that what they're called? <laughs> is that what they're called? star formations and just like explanations about them um it says it's got like a whole chapter about the sun it's got a chapter on moons um and what the moons are like i have forever been interested in planets and things like that when i was little my mum and dad always used to get me encyclopedias for christmas and i was used to read first things dinosaurs because i love dinosaurs the most then i used to go on to probably like capital cities and flags they were i was into those guys too and then after that sky so night sky this is going to be beautiful it's going to be really really lovely i think this is going to be one that I sort of dip in and out of as I go so although it is non-fiction November next uh, next next year next month so that might be a nice time to read that so those are some of the books that I've recently acquired what books have you recently acquired have you read any of these tell me your bullet journaling is that what you call it bulletin is it called bulletin or is it called bullet journaling um tell me if you enjoy that or if it's worth getting into um and yeah i would love to hear from you guys and see tell me what um of these that you've read or any of these that you think are look good um and i'll see you all again on friday for another booktube video ah on friday is my um cozy reading night tbr because friday night is cozy reading night so friday the 20th of october between the hours of ten uh, 7 and 10, um, a cosy reading night will be taking place. I'll be hosting it on Instagram and um, Twitter. I'll be active on those. I'll be vlogging the night. Cozy reading night is basically three hours where you completely chillax for the evening. Pajamas, books, snacks, lovely coziness, candles, and we just relax and have a bit of a read together and show each other what we're up to and things like that so do join in if you want to i will link my announcement video down below if you want any more details on it but on friday it'll be my cozy reading night tbr um ahead of cozy reading night which is friday evening so that's all from me today and i will see you all again on friday for my cozy reading night tbr bye we made it it didn't get dark yeah